is uh, Tomorrowland is the capital of dance music in Europe. It's one of the essential stops of the summer. Everyone that goes to the festival goes there to basically forget the world and just enjoy complete freedom for a couple of days. There are a few festivals worldwide where everybody puts on their to-do list. Like uh, this is one of the things that we want to do in life and Tomorrowland is definitely one of those things. All the cultures are united. It is meeting people from all over the world. And they are united. It's love, it's friendship. We're all in love with the music and the atmosphere. This is like a, a, a magical location. Absolute fucking madness. 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 It's so overwhelmingly huge. Prepare to be stunned. Worldwide. I mean, you see people from the US, from Brazil, from Chile, uh, South Africa, from all over the world come in particular for this festival. So they, they come like every year, like they go to Mecca or they go to Jerusalem or something. It's Tomorrowland, it's a religion. At the beginning, it was really like a Belgian crowd, and then it became known in Holland and Germany and France. It kept on snowballing. I mean, the way Tomorrowland skyrocketed, it's, it's crazy. It started out as a really small festival, you know, and they took like the whole market, like the whole scene to a next level. To listen to the radio now is completely different than 20 years ago when you were listening to, you know, Duran Duran and Michael Jackson and Madonna. That's what you listen to now with the young generation right now. They're listening to dance music. That's what you do. That's cool. Electronic dance music has an immediate appeal. The moment you hear it, you get it. You know, there's no learning curve. Look, I grew up playing video games, and so those simple melodies that were stored on the Atari chip when you stuck it in there, it's just some kind of like derivative or version of that. In with electronic dance music, it can come from anywhere and can be made by kids in their bedroom. It's almost like more DIY and punk than punk ever was. And I say that as an old punk. what it has become. Yeah, now you come into the smallest, tiniest little town in Brazil and everybody's like, ah, Tomorrowland, everybody knows. They probably yeah. know Tomorrowland better than they know Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Our music is all about unity and, and Tomorrowland is probably the biggest event in Europe now. So of course, unity is very important. Tomorrowland! This year is getting bigger and bigger and there's more people coming from everywhere in the world. I see flags from Christian countries, Jewish countries, Muslim countries. Unity, I think that's uh, one of the most important things in life, especially on a dance festival, you know? Music is the most universal language around, and that comes with unity, you know? Everybody is united there, and um, celebrating the same thing, the love for music, the love for dance music. I want everybody to feel like one, you know? That's, that's really my thing. Tomorrowland is simply the harmony 
of coming together, you know, there'll be like 30 different flags out there. And it's always amazing to me. These people came from all over the world to kind of have this moment together. It's about the fact that we're celebrating life, all of us together. People, they don't know each other, they've never seen each other before. And they act like they're family and they, they jump together, they rave together, they go completely crazy. people of Tomorrowland. My name is Felipe Leocadio. I'm 31 years old. So today the mail came in. It's a package. Tickets. It's a few last minute things to throw in the suitcase. Um, try on a few outfits. My name is Matthias and I'm 25 years old. I'm from Munich and I just finished college. Our tickets. So we have our, uh, our tickets to get in and get our wristbands. Cannot wait for tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm Cindy. I'm 23 and I live in Paris. Hi, my name is Matthias. Um, this is my best friend, Kimmy. So the bracelet is my ticket to enter tomorrow. It's connected to my Facebook. So I can add somebody, I think, just by pushing the button. It's only three days till Tomorrowland, so it's time to pack. The flag. Tomorrowland in France. Yeah, the time has arrived. My last day here in Dubai before I take my flight to Europe to go to Tomorrowland. Yeah, you never said a word. You didn't send me no letter. We're on our way to LAX. <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't wait for us to get there. 740 kilometers already, gone from Munich. Super awesome, super awesome! I see flags from all over the world. Everybody show your flags! When we first got tickets for Tomorrowland, I had already thought up straight away that that was where I wanted to do my proposal. Uh, we have talked about marriage quite a bit recently and we've already know what we're going to do for our wedding. What Tara doesn't know is that I'm going to be proposing to her at Tomorrowland. Private review. This is so nice, man. So nice. Look the weather. Look the sky. Okay. We are here finally tomorrow, and dude. I wait for this moment all the year, and yeah, we did it, man. No, I come in to join all my friends, and I'm very exciting. It's uh, it will be a very good moment. I would like to have a lot of new friends here from Tomorrowland. I don't know, 50, 100, 200. So the more the better, really. I can meet people from all over the world, and uh, this is uh, unity in Tomorrowland. Unity. People go to the stages and they they jump in and sing and they party all together like a real family. Doesn't matter if you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim. Doesn't matter. It's really strong the vibration you feel. I, I never saw like a fight or something like that. Some people are really happy to be here. I think this is one of the points of Tomorrowland. For me, it's uh, very important to be together. It's a very beautiful thing for me. Well, I mean, we've already met so many friends from all over the world. There were some Australians near our tent. There were some Swedes and some Swiss. It really sticks out as like the 
strongest theme to Tomorrowland is that people want to learn where you're from and what brought you here. When they hear we yeah. come from California, they're like, really? Like, you came all the way here? We're like, well, of course. Like, it's the best festival in the world. Hey, you have a beautiful dive. How about Tomorrowland? I'm actually the only DJ that has been doing headlining since 10 years each year at uh, this festival and uh, I'm very uh, attached to this, this festival because I saw it growing at the same time that I was growing and I think uh, it's, it's a major, major achievement for them. I started to feel it, you know, when this big EDM thing exploded in the US and I, I would hear American promoters, DJs saying like, twice Tomorrowland, oh. and they just saw it on the net, on the net, you know. And then It's really special to see so many people all together in one place. We have to make like 80, 100,000 people in one place. Different nationalities, cultures, and yeah, like George Clinton said, bring them all, all nations under one roof. Huh? Hello to Moland. I'm Noam from Israel. We come to spread the love and the joy all over the world. No politics, no hate, only love. In real life, I'm in the army in Israel. I used to deal with tanks and guns and bombs. And here, the only bombs I hear is from the buses, from Hardware and the military Vegas. War is this small. Humanity is this big. And this is the only purpose of Tomorrowland. Peace and love. based essentially on love, the love of this music, this culture, and this community. You can feel the love, the people, the crowd gives you. You're going to probably see like, what, 150,000 people in one day, and everyone's going to be happy. As a DJ, you're not just playing music, you're trying to touch that emotion. You're trying to move people. It's so emotional, so uplifting. It's, you know, it really makes people cry. It, it lifts them to another dimension. And, and there's a lot to be said about the fact that that's close to love. To celebrate that on a stage like Tomorrowland and on an amazing festival like Tomorrowland, that's, that's what it's all about. This has been months in the making. It's, it's going to be absolutely amazing. We've been to other festivals and that, that have had a fair few people on that, but nothing on this scale before. Now, whilst we've been making plans for the, uh, the biggest and most special holiday of both our lives, I've also been planning in secret, proposing on the first day, because I, I don't think I could hold on to that excitement for too much longer. <laughs> When we first uh, got tickets for Tomorrowland, I had already thought up straight away that that was where I wanted to do my proposal. Being surrounded by fantastic people and great music in a gorgeous part of the world, uh, it all seemed perfect. Uh, I've actually prepared um, a song for, especially for tonight. 
uh, which is called Let's Make Out. And I'm just going to try to get everyone to make out. And this is how we're going to try to send a love message to, to the world through this, this stream and everything's going to be awesome. <laughs> Let's make out, I thought, what if we send this message that we just send kisses, millions of kisses, thousands of kisses to the world, let's make out at Tomorrowland, peace. So if you guys want to kiss each other right now and make it to the movie or whatever, now's the moment, let's make out at Tomorrowland, okay guys? in the air, the atmosphere, it's, it's, it's love. I mean, we're not hippies, it's not Woodstock, it's still Tomorrowland, but you can feel the love in the air, definitely. You can enjoy him for 10 minutes and do whatever you want. You can have some massage, do your nails, or also you can have a sex. <laughs> we are very safe sex because to everybody we give a special card what is uh, uh, with the angel and the other side there is a condom because we need to have a safe sex. Festival de Música Eletrônica do Mundo. Agora, com transmissão ao vivo na MTV. Tomorrowland Baby, 1, 2 e 3 de maio, só aqui. Oferecimento Doritos. Doritos no Tomorrowland Brasil. Para os fortes. Apoio Piachuelo, o abraço da moda. E Close Up Diamond Attraction, melhor branqueamento instantâneo. I was already booked for Tomorrowland before we knew that we were pregnant and the labor started on exactly the day that I was supposed to be playing Tomorrowland. <laughs> Remy, my son, was born and uh, everything went well and I asked my wife, I said, uh, can I go to Tomorrowland? And she said, is it important to you? I said, well, ask any dad who just turned a father. Uh, what he wants to do and he wants to scream it from the top of the roof and what kind of roof is better than Tomorrowland? I just want to make a very special announcement. I just came straight from the hospital. My wife just gave birth to a son. I did the announcement and it started pouring rain. So I'd like to dedicate my whole set to my new son. You know, I had to cry because it's such an emotional moment for any father. So I just broke. And I was glad I did that because I got the emotions out of the way. I told the guys we'll start with intense and that uh, was such a coincidence, you know, that's about being born. Uh, I'm DJing in the in a womb. And the message is, you know, life is short, whatever you do, do it intense. The fact that I got to play that track just after the birth of my son sort of made it, the, the circle complete. I mean, it was the biggest thriller of my life. I don't think I'll ever have more of a thriller day. It was literally like a movie. That was probably one of the most happy moments of my life. I'll never forget that.
when I found out about the uh, the people of Tomorrowland Bridge and they were going to be building that big bridge and you could buy a small piece of wood and put your message on it, I saw the perfect opportunity to uh, not only propose but to give her uh, give her what she deserves, and which is a, a special once-in-a-lifetime moment uh, that she's always going to remember. The name of the bridge is One World. It's an installation of uh, 650 meters long. And the message I want to give to people, don't be afraid to dream loud. Don't be afraid to fight for your dreams. Even that you fail, stand up again. Don't give up. Go for it. We have 200,000 people that send their message in. On, on, on that bridge. I was expecting to to get to the end of the bridge without without finding it and then just saying that you know we'll have to look for it later. I think it's the only bridge in the world where people are walking like this face down. It's not because they're unhappy, because they try to find their message. Ask me what I did with my life. It starts right here. to make me the happiest to see that he can. So I just thought it was going to be some sweet message. I, I had no idea. <laughs> I've been carrying around the ring in my camera case <laughs> because I didn't want to put it in my pocket and have it have a pat down at the security gate and they go, what's this? And they'd be like, it's actually an engagement ring in my pocket. <laughs> Everything worked out perfectly, which, which it always does for us. beautiful spot on the hill and uh, and then Armin comes on and does his usual stuff which is nothing short of exceptional and when he closed with our song we just sat down and like held each other closely and it was it was really sweet I had one of the best days of my life everything was just perfect for us Dance music's always kind of had this long standing history of being about love and Tomorrowland, of course, is, is representative of that. I mean, the people came from all over the world to kind of have this moment together. It's unique, it's inspiring. Let's not forget that. It's a, it's a Belgian festival. I remember the first tomorrow night was something like 10,000 people or something. I even remember playing in a, in a tent. I mean, I was kind of surprised, to be honest, that especially Tomorrowland was blowing up so big. I mean, it was a great festival, but there were so many like those festivals around that time, you know, when they started. Uh, and I can't really tell you specifically why Tomorrowland became so big. I guess it has a lot to do with several factors. I mean, the Belgian crowd, uh, the fact that it's so, so central, that the location is unique, and they always invested in the lineup and made sure that they had the latest names. And then they started with the big production. You know. I think all those things have mattered, you know, it's not just one thing. You see the whole crowd jumping at the same time. Like, there's certain points where, where, I, where I'm just looking at the crowd like, this is madness. One point you're just gonna go, ah! 
and I think that is basically the net. It just happens, it always happens, it's a party. dancing with the beat. The DJ becomes a small part of the entire experience. When you go to see a rock band, all the lights are on the band. When you go to a dance festival, all the lights are on the audience. This is fucking madness, it's insane! <laughs> <laughs> During our set, when it was madness, it was when, it, when the rain came yeah. down. Like. We were like uh, getting queuing up the next track, and, and all of a sudden, we were, like looked up, and the crowd is just going crazy. We're like, what just happened? Like, it, it just happened instantly. Just whoosh. I love it. And the people were just going wild, and they had their eyes closed, their hands in the air. It's a mo more of an emotional experience for a lot of people because, you know, you're, not, you're no longer just watching the DJ um, where you're a spectator, you're, you're part of the music and you're, it's not about that person anymore. If we were to go back 50,000 years, our ancestors would have been banging on logs, dancing around the fire. And there's something very primal, healthy, celebratory, especially when it's done on mass. It really enables people to go crazy. We live in this world where increasingly people are very isolated. You know, people choose to retreat but they engage through social networks. But a lot of people don't have actual physical contact with other humans. And I think festivals become incredibly important because you can take thousands and thousands of people and put them in a field. You're no longer having a virtual experience of humanity, you're having a direct experience of humanity. And then you add music that is very, very uplifting, and very celebratory, and there's something congenitally hardwired into us that when we're with a bunch of people and we have a transcendent euphoric experience, being with that many people makes it that much more transcendent and euphoric. But I, I think that it's people come here, they want to let it out, they want to let it out, and then if you give it to them and it just comes out and, and it's intense when it comes out. You know, I'm at work, working on my computer, looking at spreadsheets all day, and here I can just go let loose and go wild. People just have the, the opportunity to forget who they are and where they come from and, and, and just yeah. do whatever the, they want to do. I think every day we go to work and a lot of people are depressed or a bit annoyed and I think here's the best way to celebrate life and be happy and you can wear stupid stuff and yeah, make everybody happy. That freedom is the best thing in the world and that's what we always have been focused on to just keep that freedom alive. That freedom that we feel, bring it to other people. So I think that's where the madness comes from. They come here ready to let it out and they're just waiting, waiting, like, help me release this, you know? Help me escape and, and release uh, this energy. We don't have to be ourselves. We're gonna dress up into whatever character we wanna be in and giving yourself to the experience. And that's when you see people heaving and jumping and, and, uh, and being part of this spiritual experience where they're all just completely going mad. Your face, your face, 
there's a true connection happening to the music. When somebody's completely lost in that moment, where they're just like singing along and their hands are in the air, and totally lost in what's happening around them. When you feel like screaming because there's like this massive big pat in the track you love so much, just scream. <laughs> nightclub when I was 15 and I saw basically 4,000 people together in a room just enjoying one genre of music just to see that it's possible in this world where everything matters on how you look what are you wearing what kind of job do you do are you rich are you poor like everything matters in the outside world and you go there and nothing matters to experience that freedom was like amazing so that's also what got me started DJ I said like wow wow I'm gonna live here how am I going to live here? I cannot pay a ticket every time. Oh, I produce music. I, I'm going to start DJing. Yeah. At festivals like Tomorrowland, it's this enveloping experience. And it doesn't matter where you are, you're a part of what's going on. You never feel excluded from it. when I was like, wow, Tomorrowland is just blown up. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what it was, but suddenly everybody started talking about it, asking me, are you going to be yeah. there? You heard everything, you know, about, was just, everything was about Tomorrowland. All of a sudden, from, from, out of nowhere, just from like, a European festival up. to anywhere in the world, people were saying, hey, you know, you heard about it. And, I uh, think what happened yeah. was, is people came here, checked it out, and they were just totally engulfed by the, the vibe. It feels like this is a symbol for what this scene is about. Everybody from all these different countries coming together, loving and, and partying, and that's it. become a new character 
with what you're wearing and the people that you're with and this idea of entering into this fantasy world. It's kind of like a spiritual feeling when you have that energy that's happening and everyone's kind of feeling and on the same train of path. And it's all like this, this positive, uh, magical experience. Like an Alice in Wonderland for people that enjoy electronic music, for people that, uh, you know, not necessarily go to Disney World, <laughs> they go to Tomorrowland. It's a fairy tale, and we enjoy it just from the entrance to the exit. Even through three days, we're, we're having fun every single year. The outside world can wait for yeah. a couple of weeks while we just, you know, in, enjoy the magic of this event. Please welcome Mobius. As is often the case, like I flew, landed at the airport, rushed to the festival, and then they brought me to my stage. And my stage was the about a hundred feet up in the mouth of a giant dragon. This is my dream. So it wasn't just simply like, oh, there's that stage, get on stage, do your thing. It's like, let's take you up this elaborate staircase and we'll put you in the mouth of the dragon where they're like these glow-in-the-dark eyes with lasers coming out of them. So it was certainly not a conventional festival experience. They spend a lot of time in building out these stages to make it look like, not stages, to make it look like a fantasy. You're, you're entering into this mystery, this kind of fairy tale land. I love it. It, it, it gives you a feel of, uh, you know, diving into this different world. musician and the DJ to be able to perform there is like it's it is special it's a lot of fun and it's always very exciting this is why I've done it multiple times when Inigi Vega started to play that was just amazing just incredible those different light shows lasers the fireworks. That was definitely magic to see something like that. I've, I've never seen a firework like that. It's a once in a lifetime yeah. experience. International it's festival, man. partying weekend with all of my friends that I have them here with me have this great celebration and then right after that I'm, I'm heading off to South Korea and I'm probably don't see them for quite a long time that's for me that's magic that's pretty cool Mona is just sharing enjoying partying it's where everybody wants to be it's what everybody wants to do if you're not here you're jealous that you're not here want to get away. People want an escape. And, you know, it's like to uh, um, to come here, it truly is a, an escape. It's like you don't think about what's going on outside of here. I mean, for three days, and now two times three days, you walk into this totally different universe. Everything is in theme. 
and you kind of yeah get into this special world and, and yeah, it's everybody has a Tomorrowland mentality, love, peace, happiness. It sounds pretty corny, but everyone truly is here for that reason, you know. The music is very uplifting. What else would like the visuals, the, the founders, the fireworks, the pyro, and the whole concept makes it makes it uh, makes it magical. Beautiful, it's so much love over here. Amazing, it's unbelievable, it's the best day of my life. As for the future for Tomorrowland, everybody knows Tomorrowland for the main stage, right? Let's not forget the smaller stages, because that's where the future is happening. I think if Tomorrowland keeps investing in, in the next generation and uh, the new sounds that are coming up, to, and keeping an open mind to the new subcultures that are happening, then it's a very bright future. I think Tomorrowland is, a, is in a very, very healthy place. It's fun, it's safe, and of course, Tomorrowland as a festival uh, has a lot to, to say, and, and I, I guess it will participate in the evolution of the, of the scene. I mean, really, I don't believe this music has hit its stride yet. It's been maturing for post-disco two decades, two and a half decades. So I think we're just kind of finding our way, and the art has matured, the music's matured, and the scene has evolved and grown around it, and more people are interested in it than there ever has been. Um, the growth is just phenomenal. It's the same thing that rock used to have back 50 years ago. We brought everyone together for a Woodstock. 600,000 happy people just because they can share the love for music. People that come here, they're, they're always so happy. The DJs and the production is just so full of love. And the happiness here, I just want to rep replicate that every day in my life. I think the most important thing is not so much the production or the promotion or whatever. It's all about the fans, end of the day. It's very cool to be in one place where every single person is here for the exact same reason. Everyone's like one family together. People are like distant to you in the beginning, but here it's just like you're all families, all friends. I've never seen that. We are one, we are, for, we are here for music, we are here for people, we are here for love. I love that what we have is special and unique, but it's also very similar to what other people have. They all have their own stories, but we're all kind of all brought together in the same way as well. This is not your Big Brother's EDM scene, and they are bringing with it so much new energy and passion, and it doesn't matter where you are, what country, this is the sound of the new generation.